Hello everyone, this is Voltaire42, back to memory lane, and this is episode 3, yep, and I am about to show you guys Waterworld. It is, uh, is late in the afternoon, or it is late in the day, here in, uh, Minecraft, it is high in the sky, but we're going to travel. See it load in. A little music. Da 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 Ah yes. Uh sorry, don't just happen I can't tell you guys about. Uh but this is my water world. I started this a while ago. Uh, I started with just this pillar right here. Came out with a bunch of iron, made this one big pillar, and I got this platform and I branched off. I made, I made this. Uh, I made these houses over here first, and I made this little marketplace. This marketplace took forever. I was going to get some villagers in each one of these. They were all going to be stalls. They were going to sort of just be permanent fixtures in there. Uh, there's actually uh, stalls up here as well. It took me a while to get the perfect, like, from down here, transfer up to here, and I'm I'm happy with it now. And you can hear villagers. Uh, these villagers are very, very much going to die. They they like to die. They really do. Uh, the whole reason I gave this place up was because they love to die. So let's see. I've got all my sort of my basic supplies. Look at that. It's just absurd. Yep. And uh, my little bunk area. That, all these. Killing zombie pigmen. That was a big part of my life. Ooh. Hello. And I'll sleep for a little bit. I'll show you the other chest. Yeah. Yep, yeah, this was... <laughs> This is a long time coming, but it, a lot of these houses, uh, it was just sort of like different, like getting with different styles and techniques. And this is what I would do, um, like, you know, these walkways, I would do one walkway at a time and I'd build like, this is how I would have a walkway for the longest time until I built like a house here. And then I would, you know, extend these out to the ends, and I would, you know, put the railings on them so that then I could uh, make the block offs over there and over here, and I could take this down and allow, you know, guys to run free. A tree came over here. So I have a little bit more stuff over here. I, I mean, really, it was. It's all just like ideas of, you know, what blocks do or do not go together, functionality, you know, all that kind of stuff. And at a certain point, you just start at trying to see how many, how many of these doors you can stick in an, an enclosed spaces. And once you start getting over here, though, on this side of it, this is all about functionality and, you know, the collection of resources. This is my mob farm. I had a Oh yeah, that's right. I had a secondary bed over here because I was I needed some place to sleep instead of having to go all the way over there. So I have uh yeah, my cactus farm, my mob farm up there, my uh oh yeah. This one thing has eight doors <laughs> on it. Or no, six doors on it. Specifically so that I could just get more villagers and uh, then we have over here, this uh, this was a reed farm. Um, oh no, this was a, this was the original cactus farm. That's right. Uh, this is the reed farm. Uh, the reason why that's not the cactus farm anymore is because I made this auto collection one. 
And uh, this just looked like an out normal house, and it allowed me to allow like villagers to actually go in there. I had my tree farm. The tree farm, I actually had to use these doors because this was before spruce saplings were a thing. And every now and then you would get uh, zombies or other s enemies spawning up in the tree. And they would just like, they would fall down and they would just try to destroy everything. So uh, you've got your potatoes, your carrots, and your wheat in this little farming area. And I will stake, 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 stake. Wee. And then this is uh, supposed to be the farmhouse. This was uh, supposed to be like the collection of all the different things. And as you can see, I actually took a while on this one. I, I really wanted to have this open air, semi-circular half dome thing. And I was going to uh, get, it sounded like an airplane. I don't know why. I was gonna silk touch once I got one, uh, a piece of grass so I could get it over here so that I could have grass over here. That was one of the plans. Uh, I got nether wart and my potions. And uh, over here, my chicken farm. It, yep. <laughs> so uh, uh, let's see if I can see. Oh yeah, so the chickens. There are chickens over here as well. There's chickens over here, and what happens is it the chickens lay the eggs that from in here. They drop down into this where the chickens are hatched, and as soon as that guy is grows up all the way, he's in far enough to be cooked by the lava, which then has those two hoppers leading into this, which gives you that. And then... That area you saw right up here, just a bunch of eggs that come down here. And, uh, oh, made it. Then you've got your uh, cobblestonery, just being able to stand there with a pick and go at it for a while. Then you got your cow farm. Hi, cow. How you doing? Come over here with your wheat. Bam, 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 bam. You're good. That took me a while. Getting a lead and then leading a cow on a lead took forever. Actually, was it a lead or was it... I can't remember. It was either weed, weed or a pig. Oh, I forgot I had a pig. It must have been a lead. I, I feel like it was. It took for dang ever, though, because you got to get them all the way out here into the ocean. And... Then over here, it's a uh, this is a this is a uh, redesign of my original Spires one. The the uh, that's odd. Uh, the uh, thing on my spire. It's uh I did it specifically. Look at all that. Yeah. Then I specifically. And to redesign it because I wanted to be able to get zombies to fall down. Is that a huh? That is odd sound. Okay, yeah, but um. But yeah, uh, so this was specifically so I could get zombies uh, for turning the or zombie villagers to turn them into regular villagers. Uh, I'd get them out here. I'd get them out here by uh, opening up these, which sorry, uh, I would open up those doors back there. Uh, after closing these, I would open those back there, and then the water would flow them into here. Oh, right. I remember now. All I had to do was do this. 
they come over here. At which point, all you had to do was this. And they're dead. And then you just cycle through till you get a... Yeah, and you do this so that usually nothing sticks. But, uh, yeah. It's... <laughs> hmm. But, uh, yeah. Uh, this is... This is, uh, Waterworld. I... I really like this place. Uh, I was always happy with it. It, uh, it took me a long time to get this place, uh, like, to this size. And I, what really pissed me off was when I got it to this size and I was ready to start, like, you know, like, breeding all these villagers and, you know, really get them going. Every time I would get a villager, they would just die. Uh, like, they would, they would find a way to kill themselves. And I... It just started pissing me me off so much because I just wanted a thriving village, and it just it just didn't work, unfortunately. So, like they just find ways to like just you know drop down here. Oh, um, you know, half a heart here, half a heart there, and and then for some reason like zombies started spawning like crazy, and they would. Which is like down near impossible. I don't understand it. Like they would just like a zombie would just randomly spawn in this area. And mind you, like I part of the reason why I built it out in the middle of the ocean was because where in the world there's an Enderman somewhere. Okay, whatever. Well, part of the reason why I built it out here was because zombies from an original village... If you're in an original village, you'll get every now and then something called a, a zombie horde. And it they can spawn in any light level and just kill all your villagers. And I, I did something similar like this in a different world. And it just... They kept spawning and it was just impossible to, to do anything. Because you'd get a zombie horde like every other day, but I don't know. Like this, uh, I'm actually kind of happy. They uh, maybe they fixed it. Another thing, they would just like disappear through these. I I never understood why, but also like all these, all these completely half slabbed. And, uh, I mean, I would make, sh I make sure every single house is completely spawn-proof. You, you can't spawn on top of any roofs of any houses, all that. Maybe that one, I, I'm not sure. Hmm, this might be my issue, actually, now I think about it. But I mean, I'm in the middle of the ocean, and if I was, if someone's gonna spawn, it it would be spawning up there. They wouldn't just be like intermittent like they were. So, so but yeah, this is uh, this is my water world. Uh, I guess this is gonna be it. Remember, thanks. Uh, remember, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you guys in my next episode. Bye.